The idea of the God gene was popularized by Dean Hamer. Dean Hamer was a National Institute of Health researcher and geneticist, who in 2004 wrote the book, The God Gene, How Faith is Hardwired into Our Genes. In this book, Hamer reflects on twin studies about environmental and genetic predispositions. His research led him to a gene known as VMAT2 that caused him to speculate that spirituality is heritable. Despite the title, Hamer admits in his book that what I meant to say, of course, was a God gene, not the God gene. It wouldn't make sense that a single gene was responsible for such a complex trait. In his book, he also caveats that this is a book about why humans believe, not whether those beliefs are true. Today, most scientists agree that no single gene or area of the brain is responsible for religiosity. The attempt to connect religiosity or spirituality to a specific area of the brain has taken many forms. René Descartes believed the pineal gland was the seat of the soul. More recently, there has been speculation of a God module in the brain, or even the idea of a God helmet to simulate a religious experience by stimulating the temporal lobes with a weak electromagnetic wave. It's a misconception to isolate spirituality to one brain area or to any one gene. Rather than a single spot, some authors such as Kelly James Clark or Justin Barrett talk more about a God faculty that allows us to contemplate and relate with ultimate reality. We may not all agree on what ultimate reality and truth are, but perhaps we can agree to strive to find more meaning, more purpose and love together.